This report validates what, that we're on the right track, but it also indicates there is still much work to be done. The Department of Justice finished its review of the Columbus Division of Police, but the city is already asking for more. Specifically focused on use of force. This comes just two days after a Columbus police officer shot and injured a man in the city's south side. 10 TV's Lacey Crisp asked city leaders to explain why they're calling for this deep dive, and she joins us now live with the answer to that question. Lacey? Well, you may remember after the protests in the summer of 2020, the city attorney and the mayor wrote a letter to the DOJ asking them to come in and to review the division and make recommendations. Well, the DOJ did not review use of force policies, so now the mayor has asked the DOJ to come back and review them. The is the and it means holding ourselves accountable to the highest level and highest standards. Nearly two years ago, city leaders sent a letter to the Department of Justice asking for a review of police policies and practices. Instead of putting in place a consent decree, the DOJ offered its COPS program or Community Oriented Policing Services. The appropriate focus that they had on community policing. Uh, this was a priority coming out of uh, the protests in the summer of, of 2020. Columbus Police Chief Elaine Bryant explained many of the changes the DOJ suggested, like restructuring the division and a bigger focus on community policing, were already in the works before the city got the final report. Did the DOJ have any specific concerns with CPD? Um, you know, the report indicated that there were certain areas that they felt that we can strengthen, but the good news is that a lot of the things that they pointed out we were already working towards. Well, the DOJ had access to personnel, policies, and could review what they thought was necessary, they did not focus on use of force. Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther has already sent a letter to the DOJ for another phase of the review to look at the division's use of force. We have to be able to balance uh, officer safety with constitutional rights uh, and public safety. Uh, and every de police department across the United States uh, should be looking at use of force and how they can continually improve it. And so far, there is no timeline as to when the DOJ will come back to review use of force. Reporting live, Lacey Crisp, 10 TV News. Lacey, thank you. The chief did announce several steps the department is taking because of the DOJ's investigation. That includes hiring a third assistant chief, proposing changes to increase the number of patrol zones, as well as creating a group to improve hiring and retention.